What's going on everybody? It is your man Insomniac. Welcome back to COA. Today we are looking at the cheapest earbuds on Amazon or ear pods or I don't know, AirPods, ear pods, earbuds. I don't, I don't really know what the hell they're calling this at this point. But anyway, here's a look at the box. All it says on it is InPods 12. Whatever the hell that means. One thing I want to note in the beginning of this review is you probably noticed in the beginning that I scrolled past a lot of wireless quote unquote ear pods before I got to these that I purchased. But you'll notice if you go back and look at what I was scrolling through that those are ones that were wireless in terms of not being connected to your phone, but they were connected by a wire that goes, I guess, behind your ears. These were the cheapest ones that are literally just two pods that you stick in. As for price, as I'm sure you saw in the beginning of the video, I paid $7.99 for these. So, hell of a lot cheaper than my uh, Samsungs here, which I'm not necessarily going to compare them to. I just figured I'd have these close by to make the price comparison, because most of the popular AirPods and EarPods and wireless stuff from Samsung, Apple, and other comparable brands are running between like $100 and $200. Bucks. $7.99. Interestingly enough, it shows you a bunch of colors on the front of the box, but I ordered white. So, there's the back. That's what I ordered. Instead of showing you the box, let's open these damn things. So this is going to be more of a brutally honest review as to whether or not these are any good for eight bucks. Okay, inside the box, these do come with the charging box, which for eight bucks that's great because i did see some other sets those are some of the other ones that i scrolled by where either you saw a box but they didn't actually come with the ear pods they were just a charging box or you saw the pods but you had to buy the charging box i should have made that clear earlier in the video but this is the cheapest set you could get with the charging box so here it is here's the little charging box under there you have your little charge port pop these open there you go there's your pods okay so when you pull them out you actually see that they light up that's kind of cool. It's flashing back and forth from blue to red. I'm not exactly sure what that means yet. I'm gonna have to take a look at the book. Uh, what I can tell you ahead of time is that they are kind of nice and rubberized. I wasn't expecting that. I figured they would just feel like the crappiest of plastics. Uh, they're not rubber that I can tell, but I mean, they kind of have like a really soft feel to them, which is nice. All right, I just faintly heard them say power off. So now I'm wondering if uh, they're dead and I'm going to have to charge them and come back. I don't know. Anyway, here's your little charge plug. All right, so you'll probably notice that I changed my clothes. That's not because I had the sudden urge to change my clothes. That's because when I took these out and figured we'd pair them and get into the review, they went dead. And actually, I'm glad they did because now I have a couple of interesting things to point out that actually have nothing to do with using the headphones, but more or less charging the headphones. First of all, this is the cable you get. Look at how short it is. You literally have to basically put this on the computer if you're charging it with a laptop or something like that. If you were to try to charge it with some type of plug that has a USB adapter, you'd plug that into the wall and basically this is what you'd get. It'd be dangling from the adapter. So, I mean, it's literally, it's not even a foot long. That has nothing to do with me changing my clothes though. The fact is, you can't tell because it's only been a few seconds, but this is actually the next day. And that's because when you plug this in, there's an LED light that you can't see here, but it's in the case somewhere and it lights up red. Well, my assumption was that once it's done charging, it'll light up a different color. It never did. And today it was still red. And I was like, hmm, that's weird. I wonder if something's wrong. Then I unplugged the cable and it changed colors. So you basically have to unplug the charging cable to see if these are charged or not. Okay, now on to pairing. First of all, look at how tiny the writing is here. I'm not old. 
And I have 2020 vision, and honestly, I have to squint to read this stuff. That's the first thing. Secondly, though, and more importantly, let me read to you the Bluetooth pairing instructions. Obviously, this was translated and not very well. So get ready for story time with Insomniac. For the first time, when the earphones are turned off, the two earphones press the switch button for about three seconds until the two lights are on, and at the same time release your hands and empty all pairing information and enter ear-to-ear -ear pairing. The left ear is the main ear. Next boot takes only a long time. Press two to three seconds, light on and turn on, then two headphones can match quickly. Long press 5S2 down. That's literally the pairing instructions. Okay, so now they're both out. One of them's blinking red to blue. See if you can see that there on camera. The other one is doing nothing at all. It says press the switch button for about three seconds until the two lights are on and at the same time release your hands and empty all pairing information and enter ear to ear pairing. I have no clue what that means, but let me press this for three seconds. It's been more than three seconds. And uh, there's just this one blinking thing over here. Okay, so I'm gonna go with option B, and I'm gonna just see if I can find the headphones in my Bluetooth devices in my phone, and see if I can pair it that way. Okay, so here in available devices, you can see there it says I-12. So that's these. I'm not sure if that's zoomed in properly on camera, but I-12. So what I'm gonna do, let me put these in. I'm gonna click on I-12, it says pairing. Bluetooth pairing request, pair with i12, okay. Oh, and it said connected in my ears. Okay, so good, we're connected. And here's the interesting thing though, it says here 80% battery remaining. Uh, that's ridiculous, being that I literally had these charging for about 24 hours and I haven't used them yet. First thing I can tell you is that they're actually very comfortable. I don't necessarily love the look of ear pods like this because it kind of just looks like regular headphones and somebody cut the wires off. But whatever, the fact of the matter is they're actually very comfortable. That kind of soft, I don't know how to describe it. They're not rubber, but kind of whatever it's coated in material uh, that felt good to the touch actually feels good in the ears too. They're, they weigh nothing, you can't feel them and obviously they stay in pretty well. So all of that stuff so far, so good. All right, well, let's see what the audio quality is like. I'm gonna go over here to Pandora. And sadly, because these are in-ear pods, they're, it's not a speaker, you can't hear what I'm hearing, but I'm gonna listen to a couple of songs or parts of a couple of songs that I'm super familiar with. This way I know exactly what they sound like. This way I can compare them to the other hundred pairs of headphones I've used. Here we go. Okay, first thing, and this isn't necessarily a great thing, is uh, I have the volume. I'm gonna show you on camera where I have the volume right now. So that's where I have the volume right now. And on a better set of headphones, obviously, I would expect to A, be having to scream at the camera right now, and B, have my ears partially bleeding. Um, it's not like you can't hear it at full volume, but that's not very loud. And keep in mind that obviously I'm in a dead silent room right now recording a video. So if you're outside, like let's say you're in the city, or you're on the subway, or you're basically anywhere where there's noise, uh, I don't know if these are gonna cut it. And that's just the volume. Let me go to another song and listen for sound quality. Nothing wrong with a little groove theory. Okay, so I'm disappointed. I think what doesn't help is that I really like the song that was just on, but the sound quality of these headphones, well, to just put it bluntly, they're terrible. This is no EQ kind of like, if you're not an audio nerd, you're not gonna know what I'm talking about, but if you were to pull up a graphic EQ, and basically just take all of the frequencies and turn them down to where everything sounds like mud, there's no definition, you can make out what's going on, but I mean, like I said, no definition, that's kind of what I'm getting. Bass, there's absolutely nothing going on at all. I mean, no bass. And trebles, the high ends, nothing. I mean, nothing. Yeah, so, Volume output, pretty sh**, and audio quality, uh, even more sh**. Sadly, the best part about these headphones is how the case feels and how the material of the actual pods feel. They are very comfortable in the ears, but they're not there to be ear accessories, they're there to be headphones, and uh, they kind of fail at that. I mean, they're literally bad enough that I could say I don't think they're worth $7.99. You don't have to be an audio engineer to put these in, play something, and realize, wow, 
That sounds like crap. And then I can't even say, well, okay, if you're not going to use them for music much, you're going to listen to audiobooks, or you just want them for the Bluetooth connectivity for phone calls, that they'd be good for you for that price, because maybe you don't care about listening to music. Because the lack of output from the volume is so poor, that again, unless you're going to use them somewhere where it's silent all the time, which isn't realistic. If you were to try to have a conversation with somebody, a phone call, or like I said, listening to an audiobook, or something that's not music, where maybe the sound quality doesn't matter as much, you can't turn them up loud enough for them to work if there's really any background noise whatsoever. So no, I wouldn't bother with these. All right, well, that was another honest, cheapest on Amazon review for you. I figured I'd share these with you. These are the cheapest ear pods, wireless earbuds, whatever you want to call them, on Amazon right now. If you have these and you have a different opinion or the same opinion, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let everybody know what you think of these. If you know of another set of wireless earbuds that are pretty cheap, uh, that you use that you'd like to recommend you could leave that down below in the comments as well also feel free to leave comments recommending other cheapest products on amazon that you'd like to see me review here make sure you like subscribe share the videos all that fun stuff i say all the time and i'll see you at the next episode of coa